Hey, what's going on guys? I'm God's War, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Ascension Easter Egg in Zombie Chronicles. So the hardest thing about this is you do need four people. Once you have the four people in your game, this Easter Egg is very, very easy. So starting off, the very first thing that we're going to do is turn on the power. The power, if you follow the path that I just did right outside spawn, is located on the third floor of the main building. Open this final door and the power switch will be right here. Hold square and turn on the power. From here, we will be able to begin the main Easter Egg. So what you're going to need to do now is hit the box for Gersh devices. This is what they look like. You can get them straight from the mystery box. I would recommend using fire cells for this from the gobble gums, but it's completely up to you how you want to get your Gersh devices. Once you have the Gersh devices, follow this path that I do. We're going to be going over towards the Widow Wine area, kind of near where PHD used to be. And there's going to be a generator outside of the map. Hold the L1 button and throw the Gersh device. It will land right next to the generator and it will suck it up. This will complete the very first step of the Ascension Easter Egg. After you have thrown that Gersh device and sucked up the generator, we will be going over towards the Stamina Up area. So here is the Stamina Up perk machine. It is to the left of spawn if you go up the stairs instead of out the back way. And then once you're in your Stamina Up, just follow this pathway and I'm gonna throw a Gersh device so I can show you guys this a little bit easier. There is a TV under the staircase and all you need to do is hold square on it. It will bring up a triangle, an Illuminati triangle, and this will complete the second step of the Easter egg. After that, you will need to wait for a monkey round. So monkey rounds are the special round on Ascension. You need to wait for them and then there's going to be four buttons around the map. I'm going to show you guys all the locations for these buttons. The first one, as you guys saw there, was right next to the Widow Wine machine. The second one is right next to Stamina Up, right here. The third one is going to be right next to Jug. Now I'm running here really quick, but I'm going to pause where this is at. It's right opposite of Jug. It's going to be on the, the back wall right there. You guys can see it right under the clock is the third location for the buttons. And then the fourth and final location is going to be right over here near the Speed Cola machine on the back wall towards the right of the doorway right here. This is the button that I press, so I know I, I go away from this real quick, but I'm going to show you guys this a little bit better right here. So this is the fourth button. All you need to do is have a countdown and say three, two, one, and then go, and then everybody press the button at the same time. We got very close with this. We got the max ammo, and then we were just mashed in the square, and we finally got the button to go into the wall. You need to all press it at the same time, and that will complete that step. From here, you're going to need to pack a punch open. So to open Pack-a-Punch, there are three landers around the map that you will need to ride. The first one is right here, right next to Speed Cola. The second lander is going to be near Stamina Up, right where we pressed uh, square on the TV earlier. And then the third and final lander is right next to Widow's Wine, which is going to be this location right here. So call the lander and then hold square to ride it towards the spawn. Once you have all three landers, you will be able to launch the rocket and this will open up the pack a bunch area. Here's the rocket going off to launch this. There is a green button right here. Just hold square on it and we will launch the rocket. Once the rocket is launched, we will need to be going where the rocket was before. This area is going to now be open and you can head down into here. The pack a bunch is in here. What you need to do for this step is there is a middle grate right here. And then there's a ring on the outside. You need to have all four players stand on the grate or on the outside ring for an entire two minutes. There's going to be a clock. You need it to go all the way around. It's one minute on the clock, but it's two minutes in real life time. So you guys can see here he went down. That is where you can stand on this outside circle of the grate. Or you can stand directly in the middle. We stood in the middle and we used Undead Man Walking, which is a great gobble gum for this. Since the last four minutes, it makes all the zombies slow. You can do this with one zombie if you want as well, but... Once you have the whole two minutes, the clock will disappear and you will get a nuke. So be warned if you're only holding one zombie, the round will end right there. But once you have that complete, we'll be able to move on to the next step. And for this, you're going to need to take Lunar Landers in a specific order. So you need to call it towards spawn and then this is the order of the landers. The first one is going to be from spawn and then you're going to have to have somebody else go towards Stamina Up. They will need to call the lander to Stamina Up once you are on it at the spawn area. You cannot use it to bring yourself there. Somebody else has to call it for you. So make sure somebody else is there waiting. The next one is going to be the letter U and that one is from Stamina Up to Spawn. Just do not use it yourself. You will not be able to pick up the letter. I tried it this game. It did not work. But you will need somebody else to go towards Stamina Up, call it to Stamina Up. And then the N is going to be from Spawn towards Speed Cola. And then once it is at Speed Cola, the final one is going to be taking it from Speed Cola back towards the Stamina Up machine. You guys will see the letters in the air. You spell out the word Luna. That is how you know you will have this complete if you pick up the letters in the correct order and they will always spawn in the same spot. So just take it in this order that I showed you guys right here and you will be able to complete the step. From here, 
We're gonna need to hit the box and we're gonna need a couple different weapons. The first gun that we're gonna need is the ray gun. We're gonna also need Gersh devices, Matryoshka dolls, the Mark II, and the Thunder Gun. These are all the guns right here. The Matryoshka dolls, Ray Gun, Mark II, Thunder Gun, and Gersh devices. You're also gonna need to pack a bunch of the Ray Gun, the Mark II, and the Thunder Gun. So have all of those weapons ready and we will be able to move on to the final step. Make sure your guns are pack a punch though. They will need to be pack a punch for this step. After you have that, all of those five weapons, head on over towards stamina up and I'm gonna show you guys what we will need to do for this final step. I'm gonna show you guys the long pathway just so you guys know where this is actually located. So in the stamina up area, there is a little light on the ground. It's a little orb right here. I'm gonna look at it. That is the little light right there. And then there's like four lights that are reflecting into the one little orb on the ground. What you need to do is throw a Gersh device onto the little orb and then have everybody spray all of those weapons that we collected into the orb on the ground. You need to shoot the Mark II, the Thunder Gun, the Ray Gun, and throw Matryoshka dolls all at the Gersh device. So just spray it, and if you do it correctly, the orb will fly into the air and you will complete this Easter egg. If it says we need more power, just make sure you guys are pack a punch and try it again by throwing another Gersh device, and this will complete the Ascension Easter egg. It's very, very easy. You will get all the perks and a 90 second death machine as well. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have more guides coming out soon for Zombie Chronicles, and until next time, I'll see you guys later with some more content. Peace.